ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. And I step with Marcus J. Y'all live from the den, legacyinternetradio.com. We are the flagship show of Legacy Internet Radio. Thank y'all so much for staying with us as we get through paying our bills, playing a few minutes, playing a few songs and commercials and <laughs> Sipping on our waters, hitting the bathroom. I'm telling all the business, y'all. I'm telling everything that we do and our breaks and stuff. This is what we this is what we do. That's what we do. Oh, and we also pick on SY during the breaks. We need everybody to know that we pick on SY during the breaks. All time. Every time. Ain't no high step. And we got her for you, Will, if you still listening. We 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 got her. We 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 took care of her. We we was throwing cotton balls at her and whatnot. She was swatting joints. I'm just saying, Africa Bad Bada needs her hat back. Oh, oh man, I love that hat, man. I love the hat. That joint is sweet. It's a good thing I didn't wear my Applejack. What? My Applejack. You see a big question mark just popped up something? I did see like a little air bubble with a question mark is? in it. I have no idea what the Applejack. What, you, telling what the hell is that? I don't want what is that? Tell me. <laughs> How about you talk in the microphone? How about you talk in the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, she here. she put the mic down to it's show us what her hands are. Are you talking about the joint that old oh boy so had on um Fat Albert? Yes. The tall skinny dude yes, had that big house. You talking about Rudy? Yes, it's oh, an Applejack. Okay, jack. that's what they call it. That joint is I, 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 I just call it a big ass hat that Rudy wears. It's an Applejack. I mean, I was talking to somebody about that hat just a couple of days ago, and we were describing somebody that we know that has one, and this person referred to it as the big ass hat from Fat Albert that Rudy yeah. wears. Why didn't you just say that? Applejack reminds me of cereal. Because it has a name. Yeah, a big ass hat from no, Fat Albert no. that Rudy See, wears. I thought it was oh, a cereal, yo. It, oh no, hold on, wait a minute. We're not talking about the hat they pulled down over his face. With nah, the nah, eyes nah. Cut out. No, no, that hat. The skinny dude with the big old I'm, orange I'm, hat. I'm clowning. The joke wasn't funny, but it was I mean, you know. Jersey. You know. Ooh. <laughs> I thought you were from Jersey. I'm sorry, you from Pennsylvania. Hold on, wait a minute. What? Did now, you just take a shot at Jersey? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. We don't take shots at Jersey. I, I thought she was from right. Jersey. I, said, I can't talk Jersey. about this no more. I'm feeling dizzy. Yeah, whatever. Dizzy Jersey, dizzy Jersey. No, Z. Pennsylvania. Z. Pennsylvania. Z. I just heard Z. I'm over. I'm over it. I don't need, I don't need, you, know, you are officially a Marcus it's J. Timeout. For a, it is. Okay, cut off her mic. Timeout's over. No, I love her, so I can't give her too long of a timeout. But how long long I didn't say two hours. I just said turn uh, off her mic. How, how long is my timeout? So you turn off her mic, it'll start. My watch and say timeout's over. That's all. Wackness. <laughs> Spoil rotten. Right. Look at you. She he he and over there. Anyway, let's move on. Like Ain't you no know half step with Marcus J. She Big got you, though. Is ready. Yeah, she I got does. you, too. Uh, she, uh, she got me. Let's, uh, let's get Please into girl. the round table, man. What you got? All right, first table. of all, do we need to put any disclaimers? Can I handle that? I got you, babe. All right. I got you, This part of the show. Is rated X for exhilarating. Sunny shares exemplary. over here to you. <laughs> and, yo, if you got kids up and you put them to bed, we're going to talk about some stuff tonight. This doesn't happen very often, so you should do what you need. Thank you. I'm sorry. We got rude people in the building. I don't talk to her set, but, you know, she wants to laugh and crap doing mine. So trifling. First of all. Thank you. First of all, um, we were just talking about New Year's. So, I'd like to ask a question. Yo, man, is it me or is that food you're supposed to eat on New Year's nasty? I mean, like stewed tomatoes, collard, collard greens, all right. cornbread, uh, black eyed peas, what? Ugh, disgusting. Some poke. I, I know Mark J didn't eat none of that. Hell no. But, I mean, it's just like... Ain't nobody putting no worms in my stomach. You kidding me? I mean, really, man. Stew tomatoes? I love stew tomatoes. That is so disgusting. Oh okay. Oh, never mind. Let me know when it's time for us to comment. Oh, yeah. Let me it is time for you to comment. Uh, who the hell decided what you're supposed to eat on I, what That's day? what I'm trying to figure out. Where did you get that from? I mean, if you want I mean, to eat... Where did I get that from? Yeah. Yo, that's the stuff my mom been talking since I, mean, I was if you, born. If you want to eat slavery food, then knock yourself out. But. I mean, stew tomatoes and black eyed peas... And oh, the kind of greens and cornbread I'm cool with. Black eyed peas are so disgusting. You know how bad cornbread is for you? Do you have any idea cornbread when people make good. collard greens, typically southern black folk, when they make collard greens, they put like a whole pig pen in Well, the some fish. people do. Yeah. yeah, I mean. I mean, some people do, but, you know, I, I don't. My mama yeah, did that. I don't she need slavery up. food, so I can't back, speak to back. it. 
Yo, fat back used to be good when I was 12. <laughs> Tony said that she could totally see my face at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but but real talk. I mean, uh, <laughs> let, let's social media. Let's 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 be real. Y'all ate this crap on New Year's Day, didn't you? Hell Go no. ahead and put up that. Not you. I said social media. Go ahead and put up there that you ate it because I know most of y'all did. Because on New Year's Day, on my Facebook, pictures of right. stewed tomatoes and everybody in social media Blah. that's listening to us right now that you at your computer, if you can, type in what you ate on New Year's Day so that you can either make Big Rube look real smart or look real not smart. <laughs> because I mean, I'm not sure that I'm with him on this one. I mean, that's fine. But apparently, it's supposed to you eat all this stuff. It's supposed to bring you luck, man. All it brings me is indigestion, slavery food. I mean, the food I guess it's what it, luck. That's what's supposed to. How does to. food bring you luck, man? I don't know. Why do we do resolutions? Is I mean, but you don't, you brought like it up, man. Hey, look, man don't but that, that's what I'm saying. Why do we do resolutions? Why do we eat some crazy ass food that we never gonna eat any time of the year? But New Year's Day, but people do it. Just like you eat turkey every Thanksgiving. Exactly. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a story behind that. You know, I mean, but yeah, but I'm just saying. I'm asking. Do y'all? But see, the thing did you is, eat Ruben, this on New Year's Eve? The thing no. is, Ruben, New Year's Day. I would have loved some um, black eyed peas. I never heard of a New Year's Day menu. That's why I'm kind of yeah. giving you the really. Face. Like, yeah, what the hell either. are you talking about? That's really? what, like, what yes. you but see, really? but but see, y'all Northerners. And see, I here we that. go with that again. Well, we eat turkey on Thanksgiving in New Jersey. Yeah, Ruben. but it, but <laughs> but my parents are from the south. Good grief. So, hey, hey, your mom ain't never your mom ain't never ate stew tomatoes and black eyed peas. Hey, hey, hey Joy Joy said, Come on, tomatoes. Ruben. Black eyed peas, really? Uh Tony <laughs> says, Oh my god, black eyed peas and stewed tomatoes is fantastic. Wait, Y'all are it? crazy. I can only eat them with loads of sugar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then she uh she's co signed Joy. She says she only ate because a Grammy used to make uh the Boom. food. Uh food doesn't bring you luck. That's what. Uh, that's as what it is. Says. No such thing as luck, which I definitely agree. Uh, agree I mean, with I understand that. that. Priscilla says a rose con uh, granulus. Grandulous, oh, uh, sp- uh, English, the please, because I don't know what that means. In <laughs> uh, steak, something in steak. Uh, translation, please. No, I don't know what a rose con, whatever that means. Uh, but, but, peas, right? Setting peas. But back, okay. honestly, man, and then you're right. It may be just a southern thing. It may be quote unquote slavery food or whatever you like to call slavery it. food. But I mean, yeah, they they. Because my, my parents make that stuff every New Year's Day, and they eat it. And it's like, it's supposed to bring us luck for the New Year. I'm like, yo, the only thing it brings me is a trip to the toilet, because I can't take it. Are the black eyed peas mixed with the tomatoes? No, it, that's not oh, the okay. point, but you eat it. Oh, so I, it's I all mixed in your stomach. Point, but I'm just nah, <laughs> y'all should see him. He oh, is I fired like, up. And Priscilla, like don't laugh at me. See, I, like I just told her peas. that I don't know what she just said, and she responded, with, instead of telling me what the arose con grandalis is, she just laugh out loud at me. I, I know there's people in social media that's <laughs> laughing at me with her. And like Ruben's laughing. That's why I was laughing. Why is everybody laughing at me? I, I mean, don't I don't, that I don't even know what it says. But I believe it's rice and peas. Okay, Priscilla, is it rice and peas? I mean, I'm sitting here at bated breath. Like, But I'm, is it pea, Is it peas, peas, or is it like black eyed peas? No, it's A peas. rose it's con peas. gandalus. G A N D U L E S. I don't want to look it up. I'm just saying. I want her to tell me. But And she's agreeing with you, by the way. That's why. What's that? That she just says yep, yes, S Y. So yes, that's what it is. Yes, I mean, but the, I mean, I don't like. I said, you like I said, it may be a southern thing, chicken. which means that neither one of y'all can clearly relate I'm because saying. none of y'all. Are from Man, south. I've been here for more than half my that, life, so I am so. But you didn't. Of people but you didn't grow up here. Does your mom cook stew tomatoes and black eyed peas on New Year's? Hell no. All right then, it's a, it's clearly a southern thing. Okay, Clearly. I'm sure that every single house in the South is having stewed tomatoes and black eyed peas. Now, my mama, day. when I used to, when I would eat when my mom cooked, my mom would make rice and peas. My mom would make. Talking about on New Year's Day. On New Year's Day. I'm talking. On New Year's Day. Cheese. Yeah, she would make um, greens. This is this is Collard all greens. New York New Year's. Eve. Even some of that stuff might even be a repeat. Like Thanksgiving, you probably have well, collard greens too. You're getting a mix of love and not love. Uh, Tony says, <laughs> yes, the beans are mixed with tomatoes. Big Rube has no idea what he's talking about. I don't eat that shit. And she's getting a like. Uh, somebody's agreeing with her. See who's that agreeing. Joy is agreeing with that. Uh, Michelle says uh, she had to have it. She's LOLing as well. She had to have her collards on New Year's Day. It's a must for her. I'm just saying that people eat this stuff on New Year's Day and it's supposed to bring you some sort of luck or something for the new year. 
I don't disagree. I think half of it is disgusting. Because you're right, Marcus. Cornbread is so disgusting. It's good, but it's, it, it can kill good. you. Cornbread is not good. Cornbread, cornbread is cornbread it's great, be. but it can kill you. All that grease. Now, you know what I don't like about cornbread? My mother used to make cornbread and put pork in it. They call it But crackling. your mother is not from the South. My mother is from the South. How do you oh, put... Man. How do you put fat back in, in cornbread? It's, my mother is from Calhoun County, South Carolina. Now, I got one for you. Uh, comedian that's Lissa P, who uh, is the co-host of the Green Room version 2.0 with yeah. Jay Grizzly and Lissa P on Wednesdays right here on Legacy Internet Radio every single Wednesday, 7 to 9. She is saying that she wants some chitterlings. Oh, uh, and time. and Tony is co-signing that. Okay, this Y'all, conversation is over. When we start talking about chitter- chitlins. Talk. I don't say chitlins. I, I say chitterlings, <laughs> and so does Lissa P. Because Lissa P. wrote chitterlings. Well, I mean, that's what that's how you say it, but it's chitlins. chitlins. It's chitlins. <laughs> and, when, and when we start talking about chitlins, all I'm gonna do is make you go to the bathroom. So we're done with this conversation. Okay, cool. I'm glad. I, Thank I'm you, Lissa P. for helping me shut this one down. I appreciate yeah, that. Thanks. That's nasty. Ill, <laughs> All right. Ice Cube came out today and said, you know what? Bump all this. I'm going to make the greatest movie ever, which will prove that NWA is the most dangerous group. Marcus J., are you going to see that? Absolutely. <laughs> First night. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't care who's in it. You can get no names. You can get famous people. It's a movie about NWA, and O'Shea Jackson is going to be involved. He's going the full story. He's going his company's going. I think he's directing it. His well, company's I mean, going to do. It. I mean, it's not. You know, I, I've heard that they were talking about doing that for a while. So if if, if something new has come out, something new came actually, out today. Then you know, I've been waiting for this movie almost for almost as long as we've been waiting for Detox. So we well, never see Detox, <laughs> and I don't know. If we won't see that till he dies. Yeah, I don't know. If we'll and it's gonna be detox. like a ten. It's set. gonna be like how Tupac <laughs> had a record every year after he died for ten years. <laughs> detox twenty four. That's how we'll get Detox. But no, seriously, I would absolutely. I mean, I was that kid in Jersey City, New Jersey, who wore an L.A. Kings hat. Yo, I loved it. And man. when I was fourteen, you know, you know, Easy was my guy. I wore an L.A. Kings hat. Straight so, out of Compton, yes. crazy brother. I was that kid. Like so, yeah. I, uh, Prince, I didn't sir? even. I didn't. Uh, why are you talking? Things just really yeah. got awkward. It I, just got really awkward. Did you say Prince? Yes, yeah, she did. Can you cut off her mic, please? I, I need to cut Wait, off why her would mic. you cut off her mic? I, I How do. dare you let her deface him there with some damn Prince? This is what hey, look. I, I, when I like Prince. Oh. Sorry. But you don't like Prince when we talk about NWA? Nah, hell no. I, I, hey, look, man. Every hey, well, are you allowed this to I'm, go on? I, I'm going to need you to stop, though, for real, because it's really creeping me out right now. <laughs> <laughs> it really is because like I'm you know, like you're mixing butt out pants with Raider hats. <laughs> I'm saying, like, what's what's, what's going What is going on right now? O'Shea Jackson Shirts and skins. I'll be shirts. So so O'Shea is gonna do a movie about himself and Andre and WA World's and Most Lorenzo, Dangerous and Group. Lorenzo and Eric. Yeah. You know. I never knew Yella's real name, so I can't call him out. DJ Yella. DJ oh, that's all I do. Yeah, just yelling. So, so what's the deal, man? You, uh, you think it's gonna happen? He says it's gonna happen. It's supposed to come out next year. Okay, but I mean, just because they say. Nah, something. man. Ice Ice Cube. He said. He also said we was getting another Friday, man. So I don't know. We're supposed to be another Friday. Oh yeah, just like we we're it's gonna get another NWA movie. So when either of those two things <laughs> happen, then I believe that the other is possible. I how understand. About, how about that? He's coming out a new album in May, and when they were talking today about his new movie coming out with um. Short boy. He just gave y'all, I'm going to need you to not refer to Kevin Hart that way. <laughs> Excuse me, Kevin Thank Hart. Yeah. I couldn't think of his name. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't. Are you seeing yourself for Kevin Hart or no, something? I mean, no, what's up? I, I made a mandate a long time ago. There's certain things that's off limits on this show. <laughs> what? We don't, we don't do that. We don't do what? We don't do the whole. We don't make little jokes. Yeah, we don't make little <laughs> jokes. We don't, we don't talk about fat people. We don't talk about short people. We don't talk about. We you talk know, about fat people all the time. We don't talk about not in a derogatory way. No, we I, don't. I didn't think it. I mean, I couldn't think of his name. That's all I can remember. I mean, I could have said, uh, "What's his stage name?" So if it was Kareem um, Abdul-Jabbar, you would have said "Tall Guy" from the <laughs> Game of Death movie with Bruce Lee. Who? If it was Kareem, who's super tall, that's what you would have said. But he remembers his name. Yeah. Oh, good grief. No, I, what's his name? Chocolate so Drop. Y'all. If I said Chocolate Drop, nobody would know. No, I would have do that. <laughs> <laughs> you said who? His rap drop. name is co- it's Chocolate Drop. Chocolate it's drop. hilarious. You know, probably one of the, probably on a side note, now we talk Kevin Hart, probably one of the best ciphers ever for hilariousness 
win the Real Husbands of Hollywood the Cypher on 2013 BET Awards. That joke was hilarious. That was so funny. But I digress. So, yeah, when he was talking about his new movie with Chaka Drop um, called Ride Along, he said that he's coming out with an NWA movie. All right, let me stop you again because I want to continue to make sure that social media is involved That's throughout cool. the entire conversation. We love that. Uh, they still probably Michelle is singing along Prince songs with you. Go, girl. And so even though we can't hear her, we're going to read God. her. Uh, and uh, Tony, <laughs> Tony's not comfortable with another man calling him Chocolate Drop. <laughs> Yo, that's his name. I didn't make that. I didn't make that up. That's like that's like when Sam said, you know, a dude called him Delicious. What was a uh, on a what is a uh, Kings of Comedy? Yeah. And the dude met him. He told the dude, said, my name is Delicious. He's like, I ain't gonna call another dude Delicious. That's why I don't deal with that. I mean, look, it. it yeah, whatever. Yeah, and anyway, she, Tony, I see your comment in the lyric, and that is not an NWA lyric. That's a Snoop Dogg lyric that you put what, in there. What lyric did she put in? I, I'm not going to repeat it, but Snoop. she she puts a lyric in and whatnot, which is cool for social media. I ain't gonna say it on the air, but it's, but it's not it's, NWA. It's definitely not NWA. It's a Snoop Dogg lyric. Is it from like one of his albums? It's from or, Doggy Style. Oh, okay. it is the hidden song on Doggy Style. Oh, if you know Doggy Style, yeah, you know yeah. the hidden song. At the I very heard that end. joint in a minute. Well, what's the, the song? The, How it go? Huh? How it go? <laughs> 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 there you go. We'll, we'll only hum it, and if, if you, you know that joint, Ruben, then you, he's got a smile. Yeah, like if you know the song, Joker. then you know that. We I mean, I'm out. not saying that's. I'm not saying that. And now she says she actually thought it was Luke and now. <laughs> <laughs> you're killing me tony you're absolutely stop it tony yes stop tony it. So, stop it <laughs> love you but stop it <laughs> <laughs> she said it was, she thought, she it, was thought luke. it was luke yeah i can understand why she would make that different nah no, i can't understand she, she can't do that no but all right so this is where we get a little rated x for exhilaration i was waiting for this part here we go i know got two things now unfortunately last night because there's no football on i was forced Okay, I wasn't forced, but it was the only crap that was on TV. So, I guess I'm going to take something from the wheelhouse of the Dayton Pool Diva on it. So, I unfortunately watched this stupid-ass movie called, and I, about, uh, about 60% of it, Three Can Play That Game. Yes, uh, it's a sequel to Two Can Play That Game, because uh, God knows nobody didn't realize that Two Can Play That Game was that terrible. They decided to make a sequel with a whole bunch of people we didn't know. Actually, that's not true. The one of the main actors was um, this dude. I don't remember his name. The only thing I remember him as is he went to school to UVA with one of my friends, and he was in a couple other shows, and he was in this movie. I don't remember his name because his name went on the credits because I didn't watch him, but I digress. So, if anybody knows what Two Can Play a Game is about, the, the woman, I think, Shantae or whatever, she's a, a love guru or whatever she gets you fall in love with your man so you can get married blah 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 blah. you know your standard black quotation love movie crap so my question is man why do you need people like her when are we gonna be real with the opposite sex because i watched this stupid ass movie and we it, it basically is like well you need to you need to like make him thirst for you and you need to diss him and you need to let her go out with other people so she get and when all they had to do is say yo i love you i want to marry you that's it so they went through this whole crappy movie and broke up like five times when it came back all you had to do is say i love you and that was it and they got married and life stuff so with that being said that's why when are we gonna be real I mean, I'm not saying this halfway real stuff that we think that we real, but we really not because we can't fully trust people. We can't really tell them what we think and all this other crap when a question is asked and you don't go and people don't go into a hysterical fit because why are you asking all my business crap? When are we going to be real with the opposite sex from a woman's point of view? Now, if, if, if I'm not on the on track with you let me know okay because I want to say that I can't really answer that question because I am but sometimes I have difficulty getting out things that I want to say okay okay 
Um, speak, speak, sister. <laughs> and you know, some things are easy for us to do, like talk on the talk on the phone. <laughs> I know you saw that. Talk on the phone. Um, write it on a piece of paper. You know, nobody's looking at you. You don't have to be eye to eye, face to face. It's easy. It's it's like a cop out, really. Um, so. I still have difficulty saying some things that I feel. Um, I'll get them out. It may take a little bit. I'll get them out. I don't freely let them out. Um, as far as the BS and the craziness and make him this and make him that, it's a whole lot of waste of time. It's a whole lot of waste of my time. I don't even know how the heck you got through 60% of that movie. It was tough. Because and it was nothing else on TV. Ridiculous! It's just stupid. It's like what time was it? Huh? What time was the movie on? What time was it on? What time was it on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, ten o'clock. Should have watched The Good Wife, man. Eh. Your show uh, comes on tonight. Um, it was on Encore Black, which yeah, uh, all a, that a different thing. Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Being, you know, <laughs> honest, not being truthful, not. Sharing your feelings, you know, that whole game, I can't play. I can't play. So why do you think you have issues getting things off your chest? Um, I don't have issues getting things off my chest. Okay. Um, there are more, since we're in the X Factor tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are more um, intimate things that I may not be, I'm not used to saying or I'm not used to getting out so I mean I can during intercourse or not during intercourse what, what sex have to do with this I wasn't talking about I mean, I'm just asking because <laughs> I'm kind of forgetting what you're talking about but I'm just being no nasty. but what 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 you're talking about mm-hmm. is when are we going to be real and for yeah. me that's in every aspect of correct, the relationship correct, correct. whether um I'm having sex whether I'm just holding the conversation um in, in, in any part of it. Um, it's the conversation that will catch me. Okay. The, the sex part won't catch me. Okay, okay. cool. It's the conversation. Um, and depending on how intimate the conversation is, there are some things that just don't come out of my mouth. There are certain words I don't say. Um, there are phrases I won't get out. And you may have you may have to read between the lines to get them from me. Now I'm forced these days to work on that issue. Yeah, because this read between the lines <laughs> bull crap ain't now, working. I don't mind working on the issue, but you know, I'm just let you know the bull, the read between the lines thing. I know it's not cool. I know it's not. It's not. Cool. It's not the fact and it's not cool. It's just that's I mean, not communication. It's just not. It's it's something that I'm not used to doing. I'm not used to doing it. So okay. It's difficult to get out. I'm freaking 47 years old. It's difficult to get out. Okay. So, okay. But I mean, for the most part, um, um, I won't say 100 because that's just that one missing. little section. So I'm about 98 percent squared. All right. Mm-hmm. Mark J. We getting a hit in social media. Uh, Tony is hitting this up. Um, and I lost her comment, but I have it back now. Um. Basically, she says it's about the unspoken games rules that people play, not just women in general, because his uh, uh, guys know the rules as well. Uh, defense mechanism, if we spill too much too soon, we're seen as obsessed or desperate. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know those I rules. Mm-hmm. I don't know those rules of the game because I just don't. I mean, guys have different rules. Guys wish, and girls, you all know that we think things differently. We handle things differently. Yeah, we I just don't know that. these rules that you speak of. I just don't. I guess I may not choose to have learned these rules mm-hmm. or care to know Which these rules. Which is probably a plus. Mm, not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Because the problem is I feel like women play this game, and if I don't know what's going on, then I'm – You get caught in it. Well, it's not getting caught. You just You just don't know – you know, you don't know how to play. So when you make a bad move, it's like, oh, it's the worst thing ever. I mean, which is, which kind of, I guess I can relate to the Think Like a Man movie when they were getting, I guess, when the guys were getting, I guess, blitzed. 
as they called it, you know, with all these little games and stuff, they didn't know what to do until they found the book, and then they used the book to quote unquote protect themselves. <laughs> I, which I say quote unquote because pretty much they just started playing the game that they were playing. Mm-hmm. But to I guess to the movie's defense, he was basically well the guys didn't know what the game what game we were playing. Mm-hmm. So how can you expect a dude to know a game you're playing? Well, know that you're playing a game because they don't know what game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just stuff like that. Marcus J. Yes, sir. When will be real, man? When 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 is it? When is it ever a time? that men and women can be completely real with each other. I mean, it's going to have to be, it's going to have to happen on an individual couple basis because generally it'll never happen generally because men are wired a certain kind of way and women are wired a certain kind of way. And when people say that, it sounds like bullshit, but the reality is it's true. Mm -hmm. Men are wired a certain kind of way and women are wired a certain kind of way and those ways don't always mix. So you, 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 by virtue of you having different genders, there's certain things that you're just going to clash on. Now, if you're trained enough in your partner or the person you, you're dealing with, and you trained in the ways of dealing with them and them dealing with you, then you might have some sort of harmony. But if you're not, then you're going to constantly be fighting, whether it be a light we can get past this kind of fight or those stormy type fights that get the police called to the house. You know what I mean? Ooh. So, you know, it really it really does depend. And, you, you know, you, you invoke the, the, the name of the dating pool diva when we have these discussions when she's here and when we have the Love Revolution forums every third Saturday here in Richmond, Virginia. You know, one of the biggest things that I'm a stickler on is not allowing any of the ladies in the room to point the fingers at the fellas. You're not going to do that on my watch. Mm-hmm. You're just not going to do that on my watch. And at the same time, not going to let the fellas point the fingers at the ladies. Y'all need to take responsibility for yourselves as individuals, for your part in your discourse. If she acting crazy, then you need to figure out a way to, to reach her if you care. If, if he's being distant, then you need to figure out a way to reach him if you care. It's one of those individual things. Because some couples got role reversal. And some guys are very expressive and some women are distant when it comes to their emotions. And so what you going to do then? You going to blame the lady then or you going to blame the guy then? You can't blame nobody because everybody's different. Everybody's individuals. I feel real strong about that because that's where we have our problem. We get so caught up in trying to be as men saying it's women's fault. And women, y'all get it twisted when y'all always be in y'all little packs about men and, and all this kind of stuff. When y'all get over yourselves and we get over ourselves, then we can get to the point where we can try to talk again as individuals. This this whole, you know, male bashing thing, man, I'm over that shit, y'all, for real. Word. All right. Cool. All right. Get you. Now we got the the last segment of the day. And this is the part where it's a little uh, a little graphic. So if you got kids in a room, they need to go in another room. Um, unless you don't really care, but I'm just giving you that warning because it's about to get real up in here. Now, I was happy enough to see a movie called Don John this weekend. <laughs> I'm not going to give out any spoilers because my opinion, it's a good movie to see. Just my opinion. Can't speak on nobody else, but my opinion is a good movie. However, one of the questions, one of the things that happened in that movie was a big question for the lead character. And I don't know if it was a question, but it was something how he felt. And I want to bring it up because I think it's important to talk about. And I expect social media to kind of blow up slightly. Real talk. I have my own opinion. I'm pretty sure everybody in this room has their own opinion. Man, why do... People, I, I, I want to say women so bad, but I can't. So I say people love the missionary position. It is the most boringest position in history. Why? It, it, you know, why is that such a, a position that people use? Because to me, I mean, if that, to me that invokes a dead fish on, on the female. Now, I'm not calling any women dead fish. But if you just lay there and do nothing, you ain't flopping. You're kind of dead. You, you're, not in, you're not into the, the act itself. And, of course, I can understand 
well, you know, if we do cowgirl, then you ain't doing nothing either. Well, that's your man's fault if he ain't doing nothing, because there are other things he could be doing. And I will leave it at that. <laughs> but I'm going to start with Marcus J. Right here. Little cute little dimples I mean, <laughs> I ain't got no dimples. I mean, first of all, first question is, do you like the missionary position? I do. Okay. I'm a control freak. Okay. And that's a position that you can have the most control. But it's but it's not something that I would that I want to do all the time. Absolutely not. You know, at that you know, you, you start off, you finish off. I mean, whatever it is that you do, but I don't want for that to be all that's done. Yeah. No. But, but I do enjoy it, yes. All right. So but let me preface that by saying that anytime I'm having sex, I'm enjoying. <laughs> well, I'm, so, gonna, I'm going to assume that. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Yeah, I think that's a fair assumption. Okay, cool. Now, but I, my second part to that question is, you know, do you? Is it something where as you First feel of all, being interviewed about sex by my brother here? This is kind of awkward. Okay, I'm with you'll you. Be I'm right. sorry. Yeah, I'll be alright. Um, you know, I was a sex therapist, dog. <laughs> so, basically, is it a situation where as you kind of just migrate there as far as your situation. You kind of migrate there and then move to something else, or you can possibly migrate there and stay there and be done. I mean, it depends on the situation. I mean, it depends on a lot of things. It's not something that you script. It's not something that you think about. It's one of those things that when you're in the moment, let the moment dictate what you do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Something at that particular moment might be making you feel good, and so you like to feel good, so you remain in that situation to continue feeling good. Doesn't mean that if you change that you're not feeling good. It just means that you want to change. I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to say these things as tactfully as, as oh, possible I because it. I do realize it's a sensitive subject. But you know, it's not something that you think about. At least for me, it's not. I mean, I can't speak for anybody else. But if you're thinking about, okay, when I have sex today, I'm gonna have sex in the missionary position, and I'm gonna do the missionary <laughs> position for five minutes. And yeah. after that five minutes, I'm going to switch. To, nobody does that. Yeah. Well, at least I don't do that. I can't speak for anybody else, but I don't. I don't do that. And so, you know, it it kind of it kind of is what it is. You just follow the moment. Okay. That's why the female voice of the, of the crew. I totally didn't expect the show to take this turn, y'all. So it's for cool. those people who are listening, you can hear how freaking awkward this I is. I mean, that's be right it, now. but that's you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I gave like two or three preferences. Yeah, you that did. Gonna be, I, you know, be honest with you, I don't screen calls and I don't screen segments. Whatever S Y and Ruben want to talk about, that's what we're going to talk about. But right now, I'm like, wow. It's all right. Sometimes, sometimes we just need to go into the X zone. Not all the time, just yeah, sometimes. Nah, it's cool. So I'm digging it. S Y, are you a fan of the missionary position? It's radio. You have to speak. Yes. yes you can't. You it's can't, okay. You can't just make faces. Hurry up. <sighs> Quicker. Come on. What's up with this dead air, yo? Yes. She, <laughs> thank you. What was so difficult about I mean, yeah, really? What, hey, what was hard about that? I mean, it's not like we're putting your whole <laughs> sex life on the radio. <laughs> and this is I just asked you, like, the position. Now, while the missionary position can be the lazy person. You talk a little position. louder. Thank you. There you go. How's that? Can you all hear me? Speaking with your chest down. Some confidence, girl. Yeah. Okay. While it is a lazy position. You like to be a little more active. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have a problem with that. No, I'm asking. I'm saying. It doesn't have you. to be lazy. doesn't have to be lazy for the person on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Now, it's called your rhythm. And if you get a good one going, mm -hmm. there's no laziness happening. Okay. Okay. Because you can't have it if one of us. Is just laying there. <laughs> well, you can't have it. There are <laughs> I, lots I actually of agree with that. To do, there yeah. are lots of things to do yeah. to hook that position up. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I oh agree yes, with that. I'm a fan of it. You're a fan? I'm a fan She's of it. She's a fan of it with an asterisk. Because there's a whole lot of business that can be going on mm -hmm. in that position. It's not simply, mm -hmm. I'm tired. You do the push-ups, babe, and I'm happy. <laughs> you do the push-ups. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Interesting statement. Yeah. Um, I guess my opinion, I, I need to answer my own question. Yes, you do. <sighs> you know, it depends who I'm with. 
I've had some good experiences in it. I've had some L- horrible experiences. Lisa P says she sweat too much to keep moving around. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah. we had this conversation, girl. <laughs> uh, and we also getting a hit from Steven Sykes and Live and Radio. Uh, you also have to understand that a lot of women that like that position because for uh, they like to feel a man's chest. They also uh, can control the amount of thrust and rhythm uh, and some other stuff, uh, which I'm, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not. Into, I'm not but, uh, really looking. Some for women. Uh, Michelle is saying some women, regardless of their size or disability, can do different positions. So. Uh, let me see. There's more in here. Wow. Uh, Alyssa P says she's a lazy lover. Yeah, she <laughs> wow. That's, that's uh, not a positive. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Steven Sykes again. Some women can't do various positions due to their size and disabilities. Prefer. Oh, so okay, I'm going backwards. And Michelle was addressing Steven's comment. Uh, prefers he prefers different positions. The same thing for the guy, depending on their disabilities and size. So Michelle is saying that you can, regardless. So just wanted to get social media in there. Uh, and is there any more? No, that's it. All right, we're good. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm 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 a strong thirty seventy on the positive side on that. I, I'm not a fan. I, I I mean, I understand. I get it. But I like to be, I like to be a little adventurous. I like to do some different stuff. I'm not saying we need to play twist stuff in the bed or nothing, but I, or wherever we are. But I, I'm just saying that I think it it, it, the, it the movie was interesting because. What he would do, he would go to the club, he would pick some girl up, come back home, take care of business, and then <laughs> in the morning she left. Which, you know, it is what it is, call it whatever term you choose to call it. However, his the issue was that, yo, all we do is missionary. That's it. Don't do nothing else. And I'm just kind of like, you know, I wanted to kind of see how other people thought of it because... I kind of feel that, brother. I mean, I, I don't think I could have. No, that's not true. I can't imagine myself doing that. However, I'm not a fan of doing that. But you know, you got sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know, you can help that. Oh, I I know I can help that. You know, but both parties must be willing to do something okay, else. So well, I understand that. But I'm, you know, that's just me. I I, I guess I like to see. I like to see work on both sides. Now, as you were saying, if if you're in a missionary and the other party is doing work to help that out, word. That completely changed it from a missionary position to a much more exciting position. But your standard missionary position is very, very, very legal and boring. <laughs> it is boring. So, mm-hmm. and that's and I was just curious on how other people thought of that because I felt like. I kind of, you know, I kind of agree with that dude in the movie. It's kind of, I mean, yeah, you get your stuff done, but it's like, you know, eh, you know, it's not exciting. And that's what it all com- comes down to. Well, but, I mean, anything, I mean, I, I don't know that we should be so focused on one position. And that was the one position that came from the movie. I haven't seen the movie. It's in my Netflix queue. I do intend to see the movie. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> but any, but any, anything that don't you. Don't let your dog see it. Any, okay. Anything that you do only is eventually going to become bothersome. If you, you know, well, I won't get into positions, but if you do anything more so than anything else, you know, you run the risk of one party becoming a little bit bored with it. So yeah. missionary just happens to be the one that we're talking about here, but there's other stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. That if you do it that exclusively, then you run the risk of wearing out your welcome in that spot, if you well, know what I'm saying. And I guess the thing about it was, since he had different women every weekend, you know, for him... It became boring, but since she's got another woman every weekend, for them it wasn't. Yeah, but, but he's however, also, he's also the one that's in control of him. So if he decided that he wanted to do something different with those different women, then he could have done that. Well, no, no. Okay. The way the the okay, way the well, movie plays out, movie, and that's so. fine. The way the movie prince plays out, okay, unfortunately, fair, fair he enough. he it, picked a certain type of woman, and it's just a bad day. Okay, fair enough. So, but yeah, I mean. I think we had some good conversation. That's it for the, the round table this week. You know, ain't be back no, next week for another one. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. All right, listen, we're going to do something interesting here. 
Uh, before we get into our rants and our closings, I'm going to, uh, we got one more word from our sponsor. Uh, and then I'm going to play a, a, a short uh, audio clip. It's from a video that I found. It's about an interaction between a police officer and someone uh, that he is questioning. Very interesting uh, exchange, and I almost never do this, but I tip my hand. This is what I'm going to be ranting about tonight. So listen to a word from our sponsor, and then this clip with the officer and this young man, uh, and then we're going to get into our rants and our closings. Ain't no hashtag with Marcus J with Big Group S Y y'all in social media. We appreciate the love we getting. Get ready to go through our rants and our closings. Stay with us. Be back in a few minutes. 